Lecture 10, Claudius, Independent Claudius, Dependent Claudius. Discipline, Academic Writing. Objectives. Define Independent Claudius, Clarify Dependent Claudius, Study Distance, Frequency and Manner Claudius, Identify Rhythm Claudius, Result Claudius. Plan of the lecture, Independent Claudius, Dependent Claudius, Distance, frequency and manner clothes, rhythm clothes and result clothes. Clothes are the building blocks of sentences. A clause is a group of words that contains at least a subject and a verb. There are two kinds of clothes, independent and dependent. An independent clause contains a subject and a verb and expresses a complete thought. It can stand alone as a sentence by itself. An independent clause is formed with a subject and the verb and often a complement. A dependent clause begins with a subordinator such as when, while, if, that or who. A dependent clause does not express a complete thought, so it is not a sentence by itself. A dependent clause is also called a sentence fragment. By itself, it is an incomplete sentence and it is an error. A dependent clause is formed with a subordinator, a subject and a verb. For example, subordinator. When, she, when the sun rose, because water evaporates rapidly in warm climate zones, whom the waters elected, if the drought continues for another day. Subordinators after, before, that, when, which, although, even, though, whenever, while, as, just, as, how, unless, where, who, as, if, if, until, wherever, whom, as soon, as, since, what, whether, whose, because, so, that. A sentence is a group of words that you use in, to communicate your ideas. Every sentence is formed from one or more clothes and expresses a complete thought. The four basic kinds of sentences in English are simple, compound, complex and compound complex. The kind of sentence is determined by the kind of clothes used to form it. A simple sentence is one independent clause. A compound sentence is two or more independent clothes joined together. There are three ways to join the clothes. First, with coordinator. Salt water boils at a higher temperature than fresh water, so food cooks faster in salt water. Second, with the conjunctive adverb, salt water boils at a higher temperature than fresh water. Therefore, food cooks faster in salt water. With a semicolon, salt water boils at a higher temperature than fresh water. Food cooks faster in salt water. So let's talk about compound sentences with coordinators. A compound sentence can be formed as follows. Independent clause plus coordinator plus independent clause. Salt water boils at a lower temperature than fresh water. So food cooks faster in salt water. There are seven coordinators which are also called coordinating conjunctions. You can remember them by the phrase fanboys, for, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. The following sentences illustrate the meanings of the seven fanboys coordinators. Punctuation note. There is a comma after the first independent clause. The coordinators, but and yet have similar meanings. They both signal that an opposite idea is coming, but is preferred when the two clothes are direct opposites. When the second clause is an unexpected or surprising continuation, 
because of information given in the first clause, yet is preferred, but is acceptable for both meanings, yet for only one meaning. Compare. I want to study art, but my parents want me to study engineering. Direct opposite. I am very bad at math, yet my parents want me to study engineering. Surprising continuation after I am very bad at math. So let's talk about compound sentences with conjunctive adverbs. A second way to form a compound sentence is as follows. Independent clause plus conjunctive adverb plus independent clause Salt water boils at a higher temperature than fresh water. Therefore, food cooks faster in salt water. Punctuation note. Put a semicolon before a comma after the conjunctive adverb. Several transition signals, such as on the other hand, as a result, and for example, act like conjunctive adverbs. They can also connect independent clothes with a semicolon and a comma. The following chart lists common conjunctive adverbs and a few transition signals that can be used in this way. Let's talk about compound sentences with semicolons. The third way to form a compound sentence is to connect the two independent clauses with a semicolon alone. Poland was the first Eastern European country to turn away from communism. Others soon followed. Poland was the first Eastern European country to turn away from the communism, is independent clause. Others soon followed independent clause. This kind of compound sentence is possible only when the two independent clauses are closely related in meaning. If they are not closely related, they should be written as two simple sentences, each ending with a period. A complex sentence contains one independent clause and one or more dependent clauses. In a complex sentence, one idea is generally more important than the other. We place the more important idea in the independent clause and the less important idea in the dependent clause. There are three kinds of dependent clauses. Adverb, Adjective and noun. Let's talk about complex sentences with adverb clauses. An adverb clause acts like an adverb, that is, it tells where, when, why, and how. An adverb clause begins with a subordinator, such as when, while, because, although, if, so, or that. It can come before or after an independent clause. Although women in the United States could own property, they could not vote until 1920. Although women in the United States could own property, dependent adverb clause, they could not vote until 1920, independent clause. So let's speak about complex sentences with adjective clauses. An adjective clause acts like an adjective that is it describes a noun or pronoun. An adjective clause begins with a relative pronoun such as who, whom, which, whose, or that, or with a relative adverb such as where or when. It follows the noun or pronoun it describes. Men who are not married are called bachelors. Dependent objective clause. Men who are not married. So let's talk about complex sentences with noun clauses. A noun clause begins with a question, word, that, whether, and sometimes if. A noun clause acts like a noun. It can be either the subject or an object of the independent clause. Scientists know what caused it, what caused it, dependent noun clause, what caused it, is the object of the verb now. A compound complex sentence has at least three clauses, 
at least two of which are independent. You can use almost any combination of dependent and independent clothes. Just be sure that there are at least one independent clause. Add the clothes of distance answer the question how far. Adverb clothes of frequency answer the question how often. Adverb clothes of manner answer the question how. Distance, frequency and most but not all manner clothes follow the independent clause. For example, S plus adverb plus S, distance. Fire had destroyed the trees in the forest as far as the eye could see. S plus adverb plus S. Frequency. I do not visit my parents as often as they would like me to. S. Manner. We mix the chemicals exactly as the lab instructor had told us to. S plus adverb plus S. Manner. Our instructor asked us to fill out the questionnaire as carefully as we could. As if as though manner. The bus's engine sounds as if as so it is going to stall at any moment. So in informal spoken English, people often use like in place of as if and as though. Like is not correct in formal written English, so use only as if and as though in your writing. It looks as if it is going to rain. It is formal. It looks like it is going to rain in formal. In very formal written English, the verb takes the same form as it does in conditional clauses when the information in the as if as though clause is untrue or probably untrue. However, many English speakers use normal verb forms in this situation. John acts as if he were the Prince of Wales. Formal. John acts as if he is the Prince of Wales. Informal. An adverb reason clause answers the question why. A reason clause can come before or after the independent clause in a sentence. Because Europeans are in some ways better environmentalists than North Americans because they are more used to conserving energy. Since, since many Europeans live, work and shop in the same locale, they are quite accustomed to riding bicycles, trains and street carts to get around. As the price of gasoline has always been quite high in Europe, most Europeans drive high mile age automobiles that use less fuel. An adverb result clause expresses the effect of consequence of the information in the independent clause. A result clause follows the independent clause in a sentence. So plus adjective adverb plus that. Jonah's cookie business is so successful that she hired three new employees last week. New orders are coming in so rapidly that she has expanded her production facilities. Such plus noun plus that. Joan's cookies are such a success that she is considering franchising the business. So much many plus noun plus that. Running the business takes so much time now that Joan no longer does the baking herself. There were so many orders for her holiday cookies that her workers were baking 24 hours a day. So little few plus noun plus that. Now Jones has so little free time. She has not taken a vacation in months. Her cookies contain so few calories that even people on diets can enjoy them. So let's talk about important points covered in this lecture. Clothes are the main building blocks of sentences. There are two kinds of clothes, independent and dependent. An independent clause expresses a complete thought. English grammar is easy. An in, 
it also can be a sentence by itself. A dependent clause begins with a subordinator, cannot be a sentence by itself, is one of three types, adverb, adjective or noun. Adverb, because grammar is easy, adjective, which is in Spanish, noun, the grammar is easy. We build different kinds of sentences in English by combining clauses in different patterns. A simple sentence is one independent clause. A compound sentence is two independent clauses joined by a coordinator, a conjunctive adverb, or a semicolon. A complex sentence is one independent and one or more dependent clauses. A compound complex sentence has two independent clauses and one or more dependent clauses. The type of sentence you write depends on your message. When you want to show that ideas are equal, use more coordinated structures, such as compound sentences. When ideas are not equal, use more subordinated structures, such as complex sentences. Develop a good writing style by mixing sentence types. So, questions. What are the clothes? What kinds of clothes do you know? What are dependent clothes? What are independent clothes? What is a compound sentence? Sources you can use in order to prepare for practical lessons.